Hello and welcome to Adventures in TV Land. For today's adventure, we've come to Graceland Cemetery in Chicago, Illinois. The first grave I've come to see here today is that of Jack Johnson. Jack Johnson was a, a boxer, the first part of the 20th century. He became the very first black heavyweight champion of the world. And he is buried here now. For many years, the only marker for Jack Johnson's grave was this one here. And this was his buried next to one of his wives and next to his mother. But then several years ago, this marker here was placed. Jack, uh, Jack John A. Johnson, 1878-1946, first black, first black heavyweight champion of the world. This marker was placed here I believe it was due to Ken Burns after his documentary about Johnson was released. All right, let's head out to go find another grave. Now, I do not believe this is the marker or anything for anyone famous, although I might be mistaken. I actually can't find a name on this gravestone here or this statue but I just found it really cool it's a knight medieval knight and on the inscription here it says above all things truth beareth away the victory just found that really cool now we've come to the grave site of Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks was known as Mr. Cub. He played he played a few years in the Negro Leagues, played for the Kansas City Monarchs, but he played his entire Major League Baseball career for the Chicago Cubs. And this is his gravesite. Now we are at the grave of George Pullman, the inventor of the Pullman train car. He also tried to start a town, make a company town, but it failed. It was largely due because of the depression and the strikes which followed thereafter. I do not know who this person is. Schoen, Schoenhofen. But I just think it's kind of cool, the Egyptian pyramid style tomb there. This uh, next tomb here is the grave site of William Deering. Now, for those of you who may not know anything about agriculture, William Deering is, was the founder of Deering Harvester, which later became International Harvester, our Harvester International. And so we have Charles William Case Deering, James Deering, Clara Hamilton Deering, and here we have William Deering, Charles Deering, Marion Deering, and Roger Deering. There's the family monument. The next grave sites here on our Cemetery tour of Graceland Cemetery is 
That's of the Field family, the Marshall Field family. Now, Marshall Field, he was the owner of a very popular, very large chain of department stores, especially here in the Midwest. It was a chain that was around for many, many years until it was bought out a few years ago by Macy's. And Marshall Field and his family are buried here. We are at the grave of Augustus Dickens. Augustus who, you may ask? Well, Augustus Dickens was the brother of Charles Dickens. And he died pretty much in poverty here in Chicago. And he is buried here in Graceland Cemetery. It says Augustus knew, knew him Dickens, 1827-1866, brother of Charles Dickens, the English author. And on the back of the marker, it says, in memory of Dickens. He's buried also here with his wife, Bertha Phillips, and their infants, Lincoln, Violet, and Ophelia, who died in 1865. Well, that was a little bit different experience. I, I actually got locked into the cemetery. It was okay though, because I it was right at the time it they were closing and an attendant came out and they unlocked the gate. There actually was a sign there that said, you know, if it's locked, don't panic, don't worry. An attendant will be out. And there was also a phone number there you could call, I guess, if you got locked in. So, but uh, yeah, that's the first time. I have never until today been locked in a cemetery so yeah that happened well this has been a uh, another adventure in tv land i hope you enjoyed this kind of cemetery this gravesite tour through graceland cemetery in chicago illinois i there was one grave i could not find i tried looking up and tried finding and searching um maybe there might be a map out there uh, roger ebert the famous film critic is buried there as well uh, but I was not able to locate his grave in the time I was there. So I did not get to see his grave, which I would really would like to because he was a film critic, Siskel and Ebert. I did, you know, growing up, I didn't always care for their, their show, but they made um, film criticism popular in a way that it hadn't been before and accessible to the public. And even though their opinions didn't always generate with what you know was, was popular, they still... It, they still contributed to the pop culture scene. And as a, you know, as a, someone who loves film, a film buff, um, I, I did admire in some ways Roger Ebert. But so maybe some other time I'll be able to come back up and I can find out where his grave is located. Well, this has been another adventure in TV land. Thank you for watching. Until next time, that's a wrap.